Hey traders, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up and get started with Tradeify, one of the newest futures prop firms in the industry. This will be a full step-by-step -step walkthrough, beginning to end, so you can start your own funded account journey with confidence. Let's head over to the Tradeify website and scroll through their funding options. You can choose between instant funding accounts or evaluation accounts, depending on your trading style. Tradeify offers account sizes from $25,000 all the way up to $150,000. Personally, my favorite is the $50,000 advanced account, and I'll show you exactly why at the end of this video. With Tradeify, you can select either a trailing drawdown or an end-of-day drawdown, and the growth accounts also include an activation fee. First, let's create a new account with Tradeify. Click Sign In and hit Sign Up. Enter your email address and create a password. I usually uncheck the marketing emails box, then check the agreement box for the terms and conditions and click sign up. Now, check your email. You'll receive a message from Tradeify that includes a confirmation code. Copy that code, paste it into the verification box on the website and submit it. Once the code is confirmed, your Tradeify dashboard account will be fully activated. Now, let's select the $50,000 advanced account. Here are the details. Profit target, $3,000. Maximum drawdown, $2,000. You can trade up to five mini contracts or 50 micros. An activation fee is $125. When it comes to picking your trading platform, you've got two choices right now, Tradeovate or Project X, which is still on the way. For this walkthrough, we're going with Tradeovate and we'll be connecting it to NinjaTrader since that's one of the most popular platforms for futures traders. So let's go ahead and select that. Right now, Tradeify is offering up to 30% off all accounts and you can always find the latest prop firm codes at propdealshub.com. Copy the code, paste it here, and apply the discount before completing your sign up. Fill out your personal information, continue, and then make your payment. You'll receive an email receipt for your purchase. Now, let's open up the Tradeify dashboard. From here, you can see all of your accounts in one place, your evaluation accounts, funded accounts, and the ones you've already passed. And if any of your accounts require an activation fee, you can also take care of that payment right here on the dashboard. But the most important section is at the top right corner. This is where you'll see your username and password for the Tradeovate connection. A common mistake many traders make is trying to log directly into NinjaTrader using these details. Instead, you first need to log into Tradeovate. Go to Tradeovate.com and click Login. Copy your login credentials from the Tradeify dashboard into the Tradeovate login page. You'll need to sign a couple of documents here, and this part is very important. Make sure you select Non-Professional Agreement, otherwise you could face a $300 fee, so don't skip this step. Once that's done, we're ready to connect with NinjaTrader. Head over to the NinjaTrader website, sign up with your email or with Google, complete the registration, and then log in. Scroll down and download the NinjaTrader software from the bottom left corner. Install it on your computer and open it. Next, let's open up NinjaTrader. Once you're logged in, go down to Connections and click Configure. Look for NinjaTrader under the Connections and click Add. I'd name my connection Tradeify, just to keep it organized. Then add your login information, the exact same details from your Tradeify dashboard. Finally, hit Apply and OK. When you look under your connections, you should see Tradeify. Click it, wait for the light to turn green, and you're connected to your Tradeify prop firm account in NinjaTrader. Congratulations, that's it. The setup process is complete and you're ready to trade. All right, now let's get back to why I really like these $50,000 advanced accounts. Next, let's try to pass one of them. The strategy I'm going to use here is a red folder news strategy. It's extremely risky and honestly should only be used for prop firm evaluations. If even there, today we have an FOMC meeting coming up. The market is bullish, expectations are leaning toward rate cuts, and when Powell begins speaking, we anticipate a large move. So, I'm positioning with a bullish setup. My idea here is to try and pass the account in just one trade. But remember, this is high risk and it definitely doesn't work every time. Let's see how it plays out. In this case, we got lucky. But again, futures trading always carries risk and no strategy works 100% of the time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, 
make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for free indicators for NinjaTrader, plus more resources on prop firms, just head over to PropDealsHub.com and check them out. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.